Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play Me Game of Six of Don Chorus. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go to the internet where you can get it free. And if you want to support them, you can go to their Patreon, which things like Don Chorus VN. It's easily to easy to find, I think. Anyways, on the last Let's Play, we slept with the deer guy. And by sleep, I mean, like, actually go to bed. Like, not actually have any uh, pumping of uglies. But, um, yeah, there were some semis. Cars are coming in quite nicely. <laughs> Anyways, start. It's a moon. The moon is bright today. Only bright for an early afternoon. It hangs in the sky like a giant clock on a perfectly blue wall. Okay, clock. When I was a kid, I imagined that the moon was a giant light bulb, its surface matted with cosmic dust, light shining from within. Sometimes I still forget it doesn't glow on its own. Just as all life on Earth, it all it's all the energy of the sun. The weather is perfect today. Pleasant 22 degrees, cloudless sky. I was thinking, well, that seems like an odd temperature, so it must be Celsius, but it's like, oh right, these people live in the north, so 22 degrees would have to be Fahrenheit. Yeah, because 20 degrees Celsius would definitely not support snow. The light wind carries the smell of blossoms. Really? Springtime? Time for Earth to wake up again from its winter slumber. What time of the year is it? I thought it was winter. I like the winter too, as all the other seasons, but they all have their time, place, and purpose. Transitions between them feel especially meaningful. Winter is a time of inspiration, a pause from the hectic place of the everyday, and an opportunity for transformation. When the spring comes after, it feels like being born anew. Yet the town feels almost eerily calm today, as if nobody wanted to disturb the, qu this quiet stillness. Everything feels frozen in time, like a snapshot of reality. The only sound I hear is the rustling of leaves, and it sounds like beautiful music. Moments like this under make me understand why Four thirty-three inches. Why four thirty-three exists? What? Is that like a piano thing? I should learn to play the piano. I want to learn to make beautiful sounds and weave them into the ensemble of sounds around me. It was like four thirty-three a.m. <clears throat> Maybe someday, I can make somebody happy with my playing. That would be enough to make the effort worthwhile. Maybe that person could even be a deer. A certain deer. I don't mean deer to me, I mean like a venison. Back home. The air here is much chillier, and I already miss the feeling of the sun on my face. But I'm happy I have returned. Hey, I'm back. I put my bags with the groceries down, take off my shoes, then pick them up again and move to the kitchen. Taking out the items one by one, I think of all the dishes I can make with them. So wait, is... No, it has to be... I was like, is this a time skip? But it's like, no, it would have to be... It has to be a dream. Also, I think my parents have that fridge. Uh, dishes make with them. I can use half of the carrots, celery, and onion to make sofrito. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up. I should actually, you know, cook. Ever since I came back from college, I know at some point I cooked a whole bunch, but ever since I came back from college, I just like, what is it? Chicken nuggets? Okay. Steak? Just plain steak? Okay. This, that. 
Okay, so it, it kind of looks like some kind of like rice mixture or something, like lots of finely diced things. And then you use Freda in lasagna and Hop and John. The rest of the carrots might go into the carrot into a carrot cake, or maybe into a soup. Lentils would go into a dai tak tad da, tadka. I can make a bigger batch over the weekend, and the rest might end up in a don sack if I feel fancy. Okay, let's go look that up. What's a don sack? Kind of looks like a curry. Dal tak tatka. Uh, it looks like a lighter curry slash pea soup kind of thing. Making me hungry. I'm trying to fast today. Give me a break. When I put my paw into the, into my pocket to pull out my phone, but instead of it, my paw reaches something soft and boxy. I grab it and take it out. It's a box of matches. Hmm, what are these here? Only a warm box of matches. It's getting hotter and hotter in my grip. Ah, dream. I'm woken up by the beeps of an electric kettle. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard my alarm yet. Either I turn it off or I slip through it. Or it's too early for it to ring. And that possibly terrifies me. Groaning, I sit up on the bed and rub my eyes. First thing I see is an athletic deer, wearing only a pair of boxers, walking across the room to the window. That's not what I expected, but I'm not complaining. Although, it would have been nicer waking up next to him. That's what I'd hope would happen. Oh, you're up. Rune, what time is it? 6.02 at the moment. Uh, I woke up at 9 o'clock this morning, or actually 8, like 45, because I forgot to put my alarm off for, like, morning meeting. I've been sleeping late re recently. No, so, if I'm going to, you know, be healthy, I should probably be like, yeah, wake up whenever, unless I have work to do. To push myself. It explains why it's so dark. I set my own alarm at 6.40, just enough time to put my clothes on and brush my teeth before breakfast, but I didn't ask Rune when he wakes up. Apparently, the answer is early. I don't know. The difference between, like, 6 and 6.40 ain't that much. Like, 6 and 9 are entirely different things. Too early. How was your sleep? I see you're full of energy. Oh, I feel totally dead. I didn't really sleep much. After I woke up sometime after 5 a.m., I just gave up on sleeping. That's why I'm making some mocha now, a cup that w would wake up anyone. Matcha? What's that? I don't think I've ever heard that word, but I'm so sleepy that I can barely recall my own name. It's a powdered green tea leaves. When do you think you... When you drink it, you don't just drink the extract. You drink the whole leaves, but the whole leaves. And how about you? Feeling well rested? Uh, no. I'm still internally debating on whether I want to leave the bed at all. Sorry for waking you up. I tried to be quiet, I keep quiet, but the kettle has no silent mode. I'm making a cup for you too. That should help. Hmm. I'm rather skeptical. Honestly, a cup of coffee sounds more appealing now. Mm, coffee. There should be some at breakfast, though. I feel like I'm going to need quite a lot of it. Oh, okay, I'm getting up. More in only boxers, but I don't think Rune would mind, judging by his current attire. I have my sleepy eyes and sigh. Paw pads touch the cold floor, and I immediately feel the urge to get back in the warm bed. But, resilient, 
I stand up, accomplishing the heroic feat of getting out of bed. Barely m minutes after six, on top of that. And I'd be 600? I can really be proud of myself. I already regret everything. Oh, come on. It's not that early. Six in the morning is the best time to wake up. The road is always so calm at that hour. I do kind of like waking up early. If I... In certain things, because like... Starting Let's Plays at like... Seven, eight, nine. Pretty nice, because like, I'm like... I've done a ton of Let's Plays. What time is it? Oh, it's barely even the day. But right now I'm starting at like 11. So by the time I get it's like... 2 o'clock and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> I was always a calm at that hour. And you get to see the sunrise. I would get mad if I boink... Would he get mad if I boinked him or something? I think that might be a sex thing. But, um... Boink is a... He's mean boink of different thing. He probably would. Above the Arctic Circle. And it's October. The sunrise is still like an hour away, even though clearly. Yeah, but it's about building habits. Life gets much easier when you get when you have good habits in place. Then it's almost zero effort to maintain them. Give me a moment now. The water should be cool enough to brew matcha with. Meanwhile, I wait, walk up to the chair on which I left my clothes last night, and put on the t-shirt. Huh? Oh, sorry, that's my vibrator. What are you doing with a milk frother? Much needs to be whisked to mix the water properly. To speed up the process and save some money, instead of using a chasen, I'm using milk frother. What's a chasen? Is that one of those things that have, like, the, um, like, uh, yeah, one of those, like, Japanese things that have the, um, all those things that stick out. Is there a better way that I could do this? Maybe have Google? Yeah, that doesn't show a whole bunch of horny stuff, at least. Let's see if I can do that. Window capture? Window capture. Window capture. Yeah, there you go. Good thing that works. Justin, it's a thing. Now to delete it. Remove. Hopefully that wasn't anything important. Justin is a dedicated traditional matcha whisk. They're usually ridiculously expensive, and a simple Yuki milk frother works just as well. Yukiya? I took one cha chawan with me, but I'm fine with drinking from a cup. Window capture. Chawan. Discard. Discard. Hopefully I don't mess up my recording doing this. But at least I'm recording with in the not traditional thing that I used to do, which is like a uh, move where if it hex up, then we lose the entire video. If it's your first time drinking matcha, then you should experience it as intended. That's nice of you. I have no idea what a chow one might be, but it's a nice gesture, nevertheless. Okay, all done. Rune comes back, holding a cup in one pot, and a weird bowl-shaped, but a lot smaller vessel in the other. I don't know why, but drinking, like, green tea in that, um, what's it called? Oh. P.F. Chang's kind of cup tastes way better than in a coffee mug. I have no idea why. It tastes almost undrinkable in a, you know, my tea or coffee mug, but tastes pretty good in one of those little tiny things. <clears throat> I'm still again used to seeing Rune bare-chested and being so casual about it, but I still get a bit sheepish around him. 
I can only hope he's unaware of how much his present affects me. Here you go. Oh, well, this looks weird. It's very green, that's for sure. Like, fresh grass... No, I better keep it at that. What was it? What was he thinking? Oh, Rune's eyes, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> better keep it at that. It's almost sort of grassy, too. Although, the smell isn't very, very strong. Don't look worried. It's just tea. I drink a cup every morning. It wakes me up without making me all jittery, like coffee does. So without some hesitation, I grab the vessel, chow on, and take a sip of this weird liquid. And you drink this every morning? Out of your own volition? <laughs> It tastes strongly grassy, with a slight metallic aftertaste. Thankfully, it's not too bitter. Not more than regular black tea, but it's still hard to swallow. Heh, <laughs> hey, it really works. I'm not drinking it for the taste, although I enjoy it nevertheless. It's not the highest quality matcha, but it does the job. You get used to the taste. And if you don't, it tastes great with a bit of water and a lot of almond milk. I never like nut milk. It just overpowers whatever you're drinking personally. And if that's not enough, adding some sugar always makes it tastier. Matcha has become a popular ingredient in confeder confectionery and baking, actually. It pairs well with some sweets. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. If they have a tea house in town, I'm taking you there and getting you some matcha latte. That should change your mind. I've never been to one. It could be fun. Besides, I'm definitely not saying no to getting spend some more time with Rune. It would be nice. Although, though, I kind of doubt we could find one here. I'll check on the bus. If we... If there aren't any, we'll think of something else to do. Oh, will. Rune takes a big sip of his matcha and licks it his snout clean. Aren't you sitting down? It's getting bright outside, but it looks a bit concerning. Concerning? Sitting with my back to the window, I didn't notice anything. With the chow in my paw, I stand up and walk to the window, looking outside. As Rune stands beside me, his arm brushes against me, sending a jolt of electricity through my spine. Better don't spill that. Matcha stains are hard to, as hell to get rid of. So I'm guessing it's like, hey, we're going to be snowed in for the duration, and that's why we're not going to get a key to our room? Hmm, yeah, I'll try. The gray, heavy sky is barely illuminated by the sun, still hidden behind the horizon. It's snowing heavily. So much that as falling flakes obscure the view of the mountains. The ground is completely covered in snow. It must have been snowing the whole night. It does look concerning. I hoped it would stop snowing, and I could go for a longer walk today. It looks like enough snow to cover th me up to my knees. Moon says nothing in response, still looking outside. Oh, that was a weird sound. <clears throat> we stand like that for a while, just sipping our matches, watching the snowflakes dance in the arctic wind. See, waking up early is nice. You can take your time with everything, and even find a moment just to stand at the window and look. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm saying I'm dead tired and hate everything. Heh, <laughs> can't be that bad. Matcha doesn't work as fast as coffee. Give it a few minutes. You know, I might be wrong, but something tells me getting sleep is healthier than pumping yourself full of caffeine first thing in the morning. Well, I know, but it's a bit too late for that. Do you always wake up this early? Yeah, but I usually sleep better. That's my fault, isn't it? If he's living alone, Sharing a bed with somebody must have felt weird to him. 
Hey, don't feel guilty over that. How did you... Oh, you have it written all over your face. I keep forgetting he's so perceptive. It amazes me, but it's also a bit scary. I'm not used to having people read me effortlessly ever effortlessly like that. I often have problems sleeping, and it's the first day in a new place. Even if I was here alone, I likely wouldn't have gotten much sleep either. Besides, I've been feeling a bit anxious since yesterday evening. I didn't get a lot done, to and today we have lectures that I hope to learn a lot from. Wait a moment. What did... What did you want to get done yesterday? Well, you know, anything. I have some papers I need to write. I have a program for a uni project I need to work on. I have the songs I'm working on, and I started writing this one thing. But you know we're on a camp, right? Yeah? I think we're supposed to relax here. Kinda, but also not. Remember, that it's a science camp. And yeah, I want to wind down and relax a bit too, but yesterday, it went maybe a bit too well. I don't know if it's possible to relax too much. By the way, we should start getting ready. Practice in 15 minutes, and rather not be late. Mm, good idea. Rune goes away to the wardrobe and takes out fresh clothes. We'll walk over to the chair and put the rest in put on the rest of my attire. Grabbing my camera bag, I suddenly get an idea. A rather stupid one, so ask quickly before I have time to think it through. Rune, can I take a photo of you? Rune currently putting on a t shirt, stops and looks at me, clearly surprised. I mean I got an instant photo camera not long before the trip, and it's a lot of fun, but I haven't done any portraits with it yet. Oh, so what's my face? Yeah. Maybe I should have thought it through after all. If you don't like the idea, I'll just drop it. Hmm. Actually, I like it, but I have one condition. It will be a nude one. I get to keep the photo. Damn. That defeats the point a bit, but I won't argue, especially since he agreed. Okay, just let me take out the camera. So it's... So it's good to be spontaneous sometimes. I open my bag and take the camera out, turn on and point the lens at Rune. Finding the right frame isn't hard. I only have to get a bit closer so that Rune takes up most of it. Film slides out the camera. I grab it and put it inside the camera bag, but then I know something at the bottom of the bag. Huh? Huh? Rune walks up to the table, looking inside the bag with me. Oh! Oh, that's pretty great. At the bottom of the bag, there's a key to my room. Ah! Uh... It is. Yeah. I had the key this whole time? Why would I put the key there? Oh, though. I must have been really out of it yesterday morning. Yeah, in the morning? Hmm. Wow. What a stupid situation. Rune, I'm sorry. I had no idea I had the key with me. Hey, hey. It's okay. Even if you had your key, I wouldn't have done it. Have had anything against you. Against letting you stay here. Well, unless you lied about losing the key. But I know you didn't. You look way too surprised for that. I don't really know what to say. Even if it was okay, I can't help but feel stupid about it. It's nice of Rune to try and cheer me up, though. I was afraid he would get mad at me. Thanks, Rune. Man, I really need to work on my attentiveness. Sounds like a good idea, yeah. At least now you have your key back. Along with all my stuff. Should go to my room and change the fresh clothes, but we only have a few minutes before breakfast. Eh, I'll go quickly right after. How's the photo, by the way? Oh right, I almost forgot about it. 
Instant photos need a moment to develop, but maybe it's done by now. I think I've seen that photo before. Yeah, it's in like the background of one of the um, websites that have this game. Like a bunch of different pictures. Came out nice, pretty much as I wanted. It's a shame I can't keep it though. Nice, the angle's quite flattering. It's a good photo, Dark. I'm not sure yet sure what to do with it, but it's nice to have it. I bet it would make it for a good profile picture in a dating app. <laughs> Speaking of which, I should actually, you know, do that stuff. I don't like the idea, though. Ruin having a profile on some dating app, flirting with strangers. I wouldn't care this. Why would I care this much, though? That makes me very uneasy for some reason. I give Ruin the photo and try to shake the f that feeling off. God, I always hate such feelings, you know? What is the time, anyways? Oh, close. Anyway, it's getting late. I want my face, and we can go. Oh, you're right. I'm all ready. We can go as soon as you're done. Feeling pressure of time, Ruin sighs on my back. I grab my toothbrush and enter the bathroom. I finish my morning maintenance quickly. Grab my camera bag, not to, not to have come back for it later. And me and Rune left the room together. Excited for today's lectures? We probably have a few together. For sure, there's lots of overlap between our studies. The course is more interdisciplinary, so we get wider, but less in-depth knowledge. I'm really excited for the one on brain implants. I bet that's something you're really excited to... You're... I bet that's something you're... Attending to. Yeah, you're right. I'm excited for that one, too. Although, I look forward... Even more to the one on consciousness. Consciousnesses? There's also a shorter one... On experiments with MDMA... On treating traumas and PTSD. MDMA. What is that? Ecstasy Molly. Huh. What was that? One thing says drugs sold as MDMA ecstasy may not contain any methyl ethodiomethamphetamine. Okay. It's an optional. It was optional, but sounded interesting, so I signed up. I already had that topic ready, so I didn't feel the need to go. There's a lecture on language pattern recognition in dolphins. I'm attending that with Miko. The only one lecture we share, actually. All the lectures are split into several different thematic blocks to which we were assigned to base on our studies, but there are also some we would sign up to ourselves. Apart from us, lectures would be attended by students of the local university where the lectures were organized. I read a bit on the place before we arrived, and I was surprised to learn in the world's northmost university what a place to study in. If you already read about the topic, say, Dark, what's your opinion on the usage of psychedelics for therapeutic purposes? You can ask me a question with a casual tone, but I heard a subtle note in Tension's voice, as if he had prepared the question much earlier and only waited for an opportunity to ask. Drugs are bad. Okay. I mean, it might be a good idea. Yeah. Because I've heard, like, weed can help with PTSD, and then I heard here, like, may maybe not LSD, but, like, there's something where it's, like, shrooms, I think? You give it to people that have PTSD, and it helps them work through stuff. Maybe a good idea. I mean, if they actually help people. The results of all experiments so far have been positive and promising. 
There is a social stigma about the topic, as well as a lot of legal issues, but ultimately, if they help people, why not? Staying open-minded, but critical is important for scientists. There's a long road ahead before the substances can be used in actual therapy worldwide, but these experiments pave way for that. I see. So, how much do you know about the effects and mechanisms of action? I have no idea. Uh, not much actually. Actually? I should know more, considering it's related to my studies, but we haven't had any had anything about them yet. I know that psychedelics bind the, to serotonin receptors and activate them, and that contrary to popular belief, they're not highly hallucinogenic. And I know they're being tested for usage on psychotherapy, in psychotherapy, before they were, were criminalized. And now they're being tested for treatment of depression and addiction. Huh. What's a funny thought, using illegal drugs for treatment of addiction. True, but they themselves have no potential for physical addiction. They increase neuroplasticity and fuck. I thought we were just going to get breakfast. I was like, oh, we have time. We'll have a quick walk there. And all of a sudden, we're in some kind of rut, like intricate talking of things, like some kind of TED talk here but with deers. I miss when TED talks are actually good because there were some good ones. But then I remember hearing ones that were like, and here's this TED talk about how to get a job. And it was basically somebody just talking about how you should buy their book. Not actually how to get a job, but that their book will help you get a job. So buy their shit. And then I hear it's gotten, you know, worse. Anyways. Increased neuroplasticity and deregulates the default mo node mode network. The large brain network used mostly for reflection. So they bring the patient to a sort of blank slate for a while. For the duration of the trip, their habits are suppressed, including negative thoughts and impulses. They come back later, but the patients have, are better equipped to reflect on them and break free of them. It's also straightforward, though. That's just one aspect of it. It's all more nuanced. What makes you ask about that, though? It's not something I thought I'd be discussing when going for a breakfast thing first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm doing meta-analysis of various studies on the topic for one of my classes. Having someone else to take a look at the paper before I submit it would be cool. Oh, I doubt to be the right person for that, but I could take a look. Great, I'll tell you when I have it ready then. Woof. I mean, it's interesting, but I'm like, uh, give me a moment. Also, the door's open? Isn't it 22 degrees outside? I don't know, maybe they're all Scandinavian. Well, so let's overwrite that one. Woof. Time to call it. Uh, like any more coffee? Ugh. I've been, you know, been exercising a bit more consistently and stuff. And also working on, you know, habits. So it's kind of draining me a bit. Also, talking a whole bunch does kind of tire one out. You know, switch the winds just change. You know, do. Like, I prefer to do the same thing one after another for the day, but I feel like for these things, I have to switch back and forth. Granted, I've only done two winds of change. I've done, I think this is the 11th for this one. Yeah, but I'm making videos of it. I was a bit worried because, like, I re... Oops, I forgot to delete that. I rearranged everything for, um... My stuff so I can't have an entire furry block, like, two like a day of furry stuff and then half a day of furry stuff but then you know dating sims but then i was like hmm with the way i'm having it set out i have like six weeks yeah seems like a lot but as at least personally of this thing so then i'm like well i'm gonna you know do a whole bunch of these videos which i am getting up to the average for the rest of the videos around 20 30 you know, just in case I'm stuck at sea or feeling unwell again. 
It is what it is. So anyways, comment, guys, a like, comment, see what you like, dislike, too, so always, if you like my YouTube and like it grow, then please subscribe and check out the videos up grow, and please remember to be in your animal self control the pet population. Also, those are tiny little cups. They look like shy glasses there, but just like, you could hold more water in your mouth, which I really bloody hate those little, like, plastic things that are barely mouthful. It's like, really? I can hold way more water than that in my mouth. The aluminum cans don't care as much because you can actually recycle those. Anyways, un oh yeah, and if you want to play this game, internet, and go to the Patreon to support them. And until next time, let's week, me, Game 6 of Dawn Course. See ya.